Hey, it's Juan Alderete, PedalsandEffects.com, and I'm here at Music Zoo in New York, and I thought I'd come through and show some of my favorite pedal combinations with the mighty Earthquaker devices, my favorite brand of all time, and we're here to do the combination of the Acapulco Gold into the Hummingbird, and then eventually into the Grand Orbiter Phaser. Let's do this combination. It is the Acapulco Gold by Earthquaker Devices, one knob, job, dirt pedal. Going into the Hummingbird, which is my favorite tremolo of all time, because it chops hard, hard chopping tremolo, Hummingbird. So I, I, I dime the depth, and then the rate's pretty fast, you'll hear. And then to make it super synthetic and weird and wild sounding, you put the Grand Orbiter at the end of it, and you'll hear it instantly becomes a synthesizer. So you're going to get the helicopter sound and then you're going to add the extra filter of the Grand Orbiter phaser, which is my favorite phaser. And I'm not lying when I say that. So here we go. Bass, bass. Here comes the Acapulco Gold. Sounds awesome, helicopter sound. Now I'm gonna go into the Grand Orbiter and add the synthesized synthetic sound. Back to this Earthquaker Devices pedal combo that I love doing this in, um, in uh, clinics when I do them for Earthquaker. Um, I rock the Big Commander, so that's kind of like a very synthy, micro synth type pedal. Um, you have all these octaves um, in here, so you can pull in the lower octave, sub octave, upper octave, and it's just one of the best dirt pedals that Earthquaker Devices has. I just am in love with it. And so what I like to do is rock the synth like this, and then to make it even more like a synthesizer, you kick in the spatial delivery, which is an unbelievable envelope filter, and you'll hear it, like it becomes funky Moog synth. So here's bass, and then here's Fit Commander. So, and then I'm gonna crank a little bit of the sub, All right, now let's get Moog synth. So now, with that awesome combo of the Big Command and the Spatial Delivery, I want to throw the Tentacle, which is Earthquaker Devices, octave up. It's the Octavia, so it's just going to give you like a, like a ring mod sounding octave up. And then what I like, what it does, is that it tightens things up in the Big Commander. So 
the big commander has got all these octaves in it that are you know just massive and then this streamlines it and you'll hear like you'll hear i'll play just the big commander and then i'm going to kick on the tentacle and you'll hear how it tightens up and then we'll kick on the spatial delivery so here it, this is just what the tentacle sounds like with nothing just its own thing <laughs> So then without it, so but with it, it's funky sounding. So it's a cool sound in its own way. But then here, here's what the big commander sounds like on its own. And now I'm gonna add the tentacle. That's what I love. It just starts tightening it. It's easier to play for me, you know. So that I love putting this in front of the big commander, and then now we'll do all three with the, with the envelope of the spatial delivery. <laughs> So I even think the envelope's reacting easier. I don't, I don't have to play as hard to get it to open up on the filter. So I'm going to use this tentacle again. Uh, this is an awesome pedal for tightening up other pedals that follow it. Um, it's just because it's the octave up and in what it does to other pedals, it just kind of gives it a little bit more definition, especially in the upper register. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the tentacle into the organizer. And then ultimately, we're going to go into the number one selling Earthquaker pedal, the Dispatch Master, which is a reverb delay. And I trust me, I see this on dudes pedal boards on tour more than any Earthquaker pedal or almost any other pedal. I see this a ton. So it is a super awesome working man's delay reverb. So let's start it off, tentacle. Then organizer. So here's what the organizer without the tentacle. So it's cool, right? I like it. But when you add the tentacle, the, 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 the top end of it becomes more pronounced. That's what I'm going for in this sound. Very musical, easy to play to, and then add a little bit of a, what I really am going for is to add a little bit of the delay reverb to keep, give you kind of like a, a soundscape sound. Afterneath and the combination was with a sampler, but it's just because 
the way I play fretless, I think just is, goes really well with the afterneath. Um, I spend hours, probably way too many hours, sitting there in my room playing bass into the amp with Jesse Afterneath and Fretless. And it's, you'll see, it's just super meditative for me. Um, but this is a otherworldly reverb and the way it suspends the reverb is just, it just makes me feel like being musical and playing melodically. So here, bass, mm -hmm. and then here's the Afterneath. Sounds like this. I mean, it's super punchy for a little mini bass, whatever this is, ukulele bass or... Taylor. And then add the mighty hoof. Now let's add the octave. And you're like, well, what does the Reaper sound like? Taylor, mini bass with the data corruptor. These are two things, an acoustic instrument with this pedal they should be like enemies forever. And they're not, because this little dude wants to play tough. But what I'm gonna have to do, since it's an acoustic instrument, I'm gonna have to really control my muting so it doesn't trigger the data corrupted. But here we go.
All right, man, I want to thank the Music Zoo here in New York for having me show some pedal combos of the Mighty Earthquaker devices, pedals. And if you want to order any of these online, it's themusiczoo.com. You can get any of these Earthquaker pedals. And then you might want to just get this data correct while you're at it, just like while you're watching this, like start ordering it, themusiczoo.com. Anyway, this is Juan Alderete for pedalsandeffects.com. And thank you for watching these pedal combos.